Hey guys, I'm Kelly from fitnessblender.com and today I have a 10 minute core workout for you. We're going to be targeting our abs, our obliques, and our lower back. So you don't need any equipment at all for this. I haven't included a warm up or a cool down, so if you have not done either of those, make sure you get them in on your own. Otherwise, let's go ahead and jump right in. So we're gonna start off with a Pilates imprint. Now a lot of these exercises are from Pilates and some of them are kind of a blend. So we're gonna be starting off flat on your back, feet on the ground, and you're going to be pulling your back up off the mat, your hip bone and your rib cage away from one another, and then you're going to be pulling them back in, tilting your pelvis so that those are now closer. So you're going to inhale, stretch away, bringing your back up, back up off the mat, exhale as you bring those two closer together. So just keep this going nice and slow. This is really fantastic for your back and for building a good, strong core uh, core strength. Inhale, arch up away from the mat. Exhale as you press your back flat on that mat again. Alright, we've got 10 seconds rest before we switch into that next 50 second interval and we're going to be doing tabletops. So we're going to be bringing up one leg at a time right over that hip joint. I know it's hard, but try to not bring it in any closer than that and, or any further out than that. If you have a mirror for feedback, that is going to be very helpful. But you're just bringing up one foot at a time. Inhale as you bring that foot up. Exhale as you set it back down. Feel free to go at your own pace. You're trying to keep your back flat to the mat, your belly button sucked in the entire time throughout the entire range of motion. And we're going to be building on this in difficulty. So if you need to, you can always stay right here until you feel strong enough to try that harder version. Just keep going back and forth. You are more than welcome to put me on mute once you catch all the cues here, once you know what you're doing. Inhale, bring your foot in. Exhale, drop it back down. All right, next up, we're going to be doing a variation of this. So we're going to be chasing toe taps uh, this, this time. So you're going to bring one foot up, following with the other. So you're going to try to lock it in right over that hip joint. Keep your back flat. Keep that breathing pattern going down and down. And then switch lead with the other foot that next time. So if you want to make this harder, you can always just hover over the ground and not actually set your feet down. Just make sure that you are keeping that back pinned to the mat. These are the kinds of exercises that sneak up on you. They're definitely sleepers. Those muscles will start to burn, especially if you are focusing on form. All right, so next up, we are going to be bringing the same idea, but locking those feet in at tabletop and then just dropping down one at a time so we're holding that position the whole time. So for as long as you can, keep your legs and your arms, sorry, your core engaged. Just drop down one at a time. Like I said, try, if you have a mirror, it's really helpful to keep that feedback because you're going to feel it is harder when you have your legs in the right spot. Try to keep a 90 at the knee and just hover right over that hip joint. Don't bring it any further or it will take away the benefit of the exercise. Remember to try to keep that Belly pu uh, pulled in, flat to the mat with the back. Make sure you're not holding a breath. My muscles are definitely shaking already. All right, so next up, we are going to switch it up a little bit. We're gonna be flipping over. We're going to do a back bow swimmer combination. So, you're gonna lay flat on your stomach. So we're gonna be lifting up opposite hand and foot, and then switching to the other side, and then we're bringing both up off the mat. So we're doing that in the opposite order this time. Start with the opposite leg, opposite hand and leg, and then your back bow. So go at whatever pace you need to. If you wanna make it harder, make sure that you're never resting on the mat. Do at least a slight hover over that ground and keep those muscles engaged. Whoop! This is a coordination challenge as well. 
Whoops, I'm having a lot of trouble here. There we go. So you should feel this in your back, in the backs of your thighs, and your upper body. All right, next up we're gonna be doing a plank plus a reach. Sorry, a side plank plus a reach. So you're gonna come right here and you can press up into your feet and your arms if, if you like. Otherwise, the easier version is right here, up over your head and you're pulling your leg in. Extend back out, point your toes for extra credit and pull back in. So you're getting a good stretch here while you're working your core, while you're working your obliques, and then you're working your legs as well when you pull them up. So inhale as you reach up overhead, exhale as you come back up for that crunch. Over halfway, keep your shoulder joint, your elbow right under shoulder joint in order to help prevent um, any discomfort here. About 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. All right, next up we're gonna switch sides. See, same thing on the other side here. Remember that harder variation with the feet stacked? Otherwise, keep going as long as you can. They're nice long intervals, so feel free to take a break if you need one. Otherwise, push yourself as hard as you can. Focus on squeezing all of your muscles, contracting everything. There's our halfway point. You're going to feel this burning in your thighs too, so don't feel like that's strange. This ends up being really kind of a total body exercise. Three seconds left. All right, so next up we're gonna be doing a plank plus a side star. So we're gonna be rotating. You can do a tall plank or a little plank, it's up to you. Uh, forearms or your hands, and you can also drop to your knees. But otherwise, like I said, a tall plank is good too. I prefer this way. You're gonna be stretching up, then tuck your hand back down, and then open up on the other side. So try to do this, try to think of being strong through this motion. Pull your core in nice and tight. Keep your body in a straight line. And if you get tired, like I said, just drop your knees. All the rules are the same. Try to keep your body in a straight line until those knees. 15 seconds left. Keep a slight bend in your elbows so that your arms also get a workout. Try not to uh, lock out those elbows. All right, so we have just a few left already. So next up, we're gonna be doing a bird dog. So this is another one that's really great for your back health. So you can do this in a couple different ways, but you're on all fours. You can do one limb at a time, just rotating all the way around and then out to those legs, or you do opposite hand and opposite leg. So take your time with this. It might require a little bit of balance, so find out what you're comfortable with. Otherwise, you're just slowly bringing it up, squeeze, try to keep your body in a straight line, alternating back and forth. Got about 10 seconds left. All right, so we're already at our last interval. Next up, we're gonna be doing a push-up to a child's pose. So this ends up being a little bit of work, a little bit of a stretch, but the whole way through, you need to keep your core nice and tight, especially through this push-up. Helps protect your back, but you're gonna push up and then instantly stretch back into this child's pose. So enjoy that stretch for just a second before you come back up, transferring your weight to your arms and do your push-up. So if you are planning on doing another workout after this, you might want to keep the pace on this pretty quick so that you don't end up stretching too much and accidentally winding yourself down. Your core nice and tight. 
your neck in a healthy alignment. Try not to uh, start caving in. Right around 10 seconds left. All right, and that's our 10 minutes already. So, good job. If you're not going on to another workout, make sure that you do a quick blow down stretch. Otherwise, good job, guys. This workout is complete.